Hello and welcome to the Edge Technician Portal. In this video, we will be searching for an asset, looking through the asset details and viewing its current and pending work as well as its work history. So right now what you're looking at is the tech portal on Edge uh, and you're looking at the home screen for the technician. So this is where they would actually have the job up here, or what are they working on. Um, so we're going to actually simulate if a vehicle um, shows up and the technician has to search for it and look at um, all the things that I mentioned as far as current and pending work and possibly open a work order for it. Um, so here I'm going to go to this button down here that says search. And I brought to the search screen. So here up at the top, you have your search. Uh, bar, which you can use the keyword ID, um, that's the asset ID number or unit ID number, the description of it, and also you can use the VIN and license plate. It will actually search those as well. To the right, if your vehicles have barcodes on it, you could click on this blue button and it will actually uh, invoke the camera on the device and the user could actually scan the barcode and find that asset. Uh, over here, these are some options that will limit or expand the search, depending on which options you choose. If I click on it, you'll see that exact search. You can turn that on where it's only going to match that exact ID or that exact number that you put into the bar, and you would have to use IDs for exact search. You can also expand the search to department and work order outside of asset, and you can turn these on and off, and they will be saved based on um, your, your options for that session. So uh, you wouldn't have to reset this at all uh, once you set them. So if I'm always looking for asset department work order, I could click those. If I come back to the screen, you can see that they've been added under here under the search bar. It shows you what you're searching, asset department and work order. And then here, um, this is where they will actually appear. So if I type in um, just two digits here to show, you'll see that um, it actually matched a lot, right? Uh, it brought back a lot of uh, matches for the one zero and the, the uh, search mechanism is actually going to limit the amount of uh, search items that it brings back to keep the UI responsive. Um, so it's gonna tell you up here that you have to refine your search. Uh, but if I scroll down, you'll see that it brought back 50 assets. Um, some have images and some have don't, and that's a setup in the, um, core product as far as adding images to uh, the asset or uh, unit information. So then it shows that it actually brought back 50 work orders that matched the one zero. Uh, and then if I scroll all the way down the bottom of the list, if there were departments, they would show up there. So I scroll back to the top and now I'm going to just look for assets. I'm going to turn my exact search on. Um, let me clear this out real quick. So if I type that one zero again, and because I have exact search turned on, it's not going to return anything. Um, and that's again because I didn't search for the exact ID. So now if I put in an exact ID, it will bring back that exact asset. So I'm going to click on that. And now I'm in to the asset details. And this shares information about that actual asset. Um, the meter, meter, uh, both meters that it has it, um, basic information as far as the VIN, um, the asset number, service date, and then assignment information, if there's an operator for it, specific codes for that asset, and attributes to that asset as well. All very valuable information. And then if you have, um, any attachments for that vehicle, you can see them here. You can click on it and, and view the attachments. From this blue button down here, I can actually access more information about this vehicle. So again, this vehicle showed up. I need to look at it and see if it has any current and pending work on it um, or even an open work order. Uh, and then also um, I can view its work history to see if I need to um, dig into it anymore. So here, I can click on um, the current pending work, work history, or I can go to a work order. And what this tells me is that a work order is actually already open for this 
uh, asset at this lo at the location I'm at. So right now, what I'm going to do is just look at current and pending work. And exactly, it shows me that it has one work order. I can expand that, and I can see that it actually has it's open at my location. Um, and then I can also view any work requests that are open for that asset. And I can click on them, and it will show me the asset and then any information, so any notes or any helpful information um, that is available. And the other place I can get to here is and go back. And now I can look at the work history. So this is going to bring back any jobs. Right now it's set for the last 12 months. So these are all the jobs that have been done for this asset in, the, in that time span. I can click on the filter and I can filter the time span. So I maybe say just last 30 days or I want to look at all history. For right now, I'm going to use the default, just make sure I get some back. Um, and then I can look at what job ID. Now these are all dynamic, so they're being pulled from the job list. So you'll never see something that you would select and you wouldn't see a job for. So let's say it's it's something, a problem with the front brakes. I can click that. And I can even specify the repair reason if I wanted to. For now, I'm just going to stick with the brakes. I'm going to hit apply. And you can see that it filtered it. Now there's only two here, and it's going to show me what um, jobs are done for the front brakes and drums. And that is how you would look up uh, asset uh, and also view its current and pending work and also its asset history. Thank you. And if you are still if you're interested in the other videos, please check them out.